Hello friends, a very warm welcome to the Crochet Hook channel. I feel very delighted today to bring you all this very simple yet very elegant and uh, beautiful looking crochet scarf or muffler pattern. Have a closer look. See how beautiful this looks, this neck texture that's been created gives such an engrossing feel to it. It gets completed with just simple crochet stitches. And here on both the sides, on the breadth side, I have added these beautiful fringes that gives this scarf a much richer look. See how engrossing it looks. So let's crochet it together and have fun crocheting it. For the friends who are joining me here for the first time, please do consider subscribing to my channel. That means a lot. Thanks for stopping by. And so let's begin with the pattern and have fun. So here I have chosen yarn of my choice. Here I have taken this lemon yellow shade from Vardaman Bluebell knitting yarn. It's a very soft plywood. And also a crochet hook of 3.50 millimeters and a pair of scissors. Plus I have also used this uh, gray shade of the same brand to border and work the fringes for the scarf at the same time. So then to begin with work a slip knot. And I have already mentioned this stitch this pattern is a repeat of 10 stitches and uh, 6 rows so here we are going to chain 44 chains in total 40 plus 4 chains so just keep chaining till you have a total of 44 chains done here i have completed my 44 chains and then to begin the foundation round skip 4 chains yarn over insert the hook into the fifth chain from the hook and work one dc one double crochet counting first chain four also as a dc we have two dcs now yarn over into the next chain inside the hook work one dc this is simple foundation round so we'll just be working one dc into every chain ahead into the next chain work one dc into the next chain again work one dc just keep working one dc across till you reach the end we should have a total of 41 dcs work till the end so here I have worked uh, all my 41 DCs. So this foundation row ends here. Then we'll begin our row 1 for the pattern. So then chain 3 and turn the work. This chain 3 stands for a DC yarn over. Insert the hook into the next DC, work 1 DC. So we have 2 DCs now. Chain 3, 1, 2 and 3. Skip 2 DCs below. In the third DC here, insert the hook, work 1 SC like this. Then chain 2, 1 and 2, skip 1 DC below. In the next DC, work 1 SC. Chain 3 again, 1, 2 and 3, skip 2 DCs, yarn over and insert the hook into the third DC and from here we'll work 3 consecutive DCs. One already done, work 1 more DC in the next DC, yarn over, work 1 more DC into the next DC. So here we have 3 consecutive DCs worked. Again, chain 3. Skip two DCs below, insert the hook into the third DC, work one SC, then chain two. Skip one DC, into the next DC, work one SC, chain three again, one, two and three, yarn over, skip two DCs and work three DCs consecutively one after another. One, two and three, three DCs into three DCs below. like this simple this is the pattern repeat of row one chain three again one two and three skip two dcs into the third dc work one sc then chain two skip one dc below into the next dc work one sc then chain three one two and three yarn over skip two dcs and from the third dc again work three consecutive dcs so skip two dcs from this third dc here We'll be working three consecutive DCs. One, yarn over, work second DC of this row here, then work one more DC of this group here. So after three DCs, chain three, one, two, and three. Skip two DCs below into the third DC, work one SC, then chain two, skip one DC below into the next DC, work one SC. This is the last repeat of the pattern. Chain three skip two dcs and into the next dc 
work one DC and here in this top fourth chain insert the hook work the last DC of this row like this. So you can very well see we have our foundation row worked atop it we have worked the row one of the pattern and also on the edges we are working two DCs and in between where we have the repeat of the pattern we have two DCs on the edges and in between we have three DCs consecutively. So then we'll go for the round two. For the row 2, chain 3 and turn the work. This chain 3 stands for a DC. Into the next DC, yarn over, work 1 DC. So we have 2 DCs now. Yarn over and into this chain 3 space here. Work 2 DCs. 1 and 2. So this time, on this edge we have 4 DCs. And then... Chain 3, 1, 2 and 3. Into this chain 2 space here, work 1 SC like this. Chain 3 again. 1, 2 and 3 yarn over. And towards the this DC side of this chain 3, work 2 DCs, 1 and 2. Yarn over, we have 3 DCs below. Just work 1 DC at of each of the 3 DCs ahead. 1, 2 and 3 and then again yarn over into the next chain 3 towards the DC side only work 2 more DCs 1 and 2 so then we have 7 DCs here chain 3 again into this next chain 2 space work 1 SC chain 3 again 1 2 and 3 yarn over towards the DC side in this chain 3 work 2 DCs 1 and 2 and then we have 3 DCs ahead just work 1 DC atop each of the 3 DCs below. 1, 2 and 3 and then yarn over again. Work 2 DCs towards this side only in this chain 3 space below. 1 and 2. So in between we are working 7 DCs. Chain 3 again. In this chain 2 space work 1 SC then chain 3. Yarn over towards the DC end in this chain 3, work 2 DCs, 1 and 2. And nextly we have 3 consecutive DCs below, work 1 DC at top each of the 3 DCs, 1, 2 and 3. Yarn over again and keeping the DCs towards the DC side in this chain 3, work 2 more DCs, 1 and 2. 7 DCs down, chain 3 again. This is how it looks in the row 2. 7 DCs in between we are working on the edge we are working 4 DC so then chain 3 and in this chain 2 space below here work 1 SC like this then chain 3 then yarn over and into this chain 3 towards the DC side work 2 DCs 1 and 2 and then we have 2 DCs ahead in the row below yarn over just work 1 DC atop each of them one and then in the stop third chain also work the last DC for the row two. Row two gets completed here. This is how it looks. We'll go for round three. For the row three, we have foundation row and row one and two already done. Chain three. This is the row three. Turn the work, and uh, we have these DCs below into every DC below just work one DC one one DC into the next DC three one DC into the next DC four so we have four DCs and then yarn over keeping towards the DC side in this chain three work two more DCs one and two so we have six DCs this time in row three on the edges then 4, 5 and 6 and then chain 2, 1 and 2, yarn over, in the next chain 3 keeping towards the DC side work 2 DCs, 1 and 2 and then we have 7 DCs in the row below, just work 1 DC at top each of the 7 DCs, so yarn over and just work 1 DC at top each of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन एंड देन यान ओवर इन टू दिस नेक्स्ट चेन थ्री कीपिंग टू वर्ड्स द डी सी साइड वर्क टू मोर डी सी इज वन एंड टू सो हेयर इन बिटवीन वी हैव वर्कड इलेवन डी सी इज हेयर वी हैव इलेवन डी सी इज हेयर देन चेन टू यान ओवर इन द नेक्स्ट चेन थ्री स्पेस कीपिंग टू वर्ड द डी सी साइड वर्क टू डी सी इज वन एंड टू and then we have seven dc's ahead just work one dc at top each of them one two three four five six and seven and then yarn over keeping towards the dc end in this chain 3 work two more dc's one and one more Two, eleven DCs completed in this repeat. Then chain two, yarn over in the next chain three space, keeping toward the DC side. Work two DCs, one and two, and again work seven DCs on to seven DCs ahead. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven, and then yarn over, keeping towards the DC side in this next chain three. Work two DCs, one and two. Eleven DCs done. This is how it looks. Then chain two, and we are just reaching the end in this next chain three, keeping towards the DC side. Work two DCs, one and two, and then we have four DCs ahead. Just work one DC at top each of them. One, two, three, and the stop third chain also work the last DC of the row three. So we are keeping six DCs towards the edge, and eleven DCs in between for this repeat in row three. And we have three re repeats, three rows got completed till now after the foundation row. Now we'll go for the round four. For the round four, chain two, and turn the work. This chain two stands for one SC, and then into the next DC below. Work one SC. So we have two SCs now, and then chain three, and into this next chain two space here. Skip all the DCs in the next chain two space. Work three DCs: one, two, and three. Then chain three. So then after this three DCs, chain three, and skip four DCs below. Insert the hook into the fifth DC. Work one SC. Chain two. Skip one DC below. Into the next DC. Work one SC. Chain three again. Skip four DCs below. Yarn over. In the next chain two space here. Skip these four DCs here in this chain two space. Work three DCs: one, two, and three. This is our round four. Chain three again. Skip four DCs below. Insert the hook into the fifth DC below. Work one SC. Then chain two. Skip one DC below. In the next DC, work one SC. Chain three again. Skip the four DCs below. Yarn over in the next chain two space here. Work three DCs. <coughs> One, two, and three. Chain three again. Skip four DCs below. Insert the hook into the fifth DC. Work one SC. Then chain two. Skip one DC below. Into the next DC. Work one SC. Chain three again. One, two, and three. Skip the four DCs below. Yarn over in this chain two space here. Work three DCs. One, two, and three. Chain three again. One, two, and three. And then 
skip 4 DCs below here in this fifth DC work 1 SC and in this top third chain also insert the hook work 1 last SC this ends round 4 here after the foundation we have worked 4 rows of the pattern we'll go for the row 5 <coughs> for the row 5 here chain 2 For the row 5, chain 5 and in this next chain 3 here, work 2 DCs, 1 and 2. Please chain 5 and work 2 DCs in this chain 3 space here. <coughs> Keep the DCs towards the DC side. Yarn over, we have 3 DCs below. In the 3 DCs below, work 1 DC into each of them. Please keep the DCs towards the DC side and then work 3 DCs atop the 3 DCs below. 1, 2 and 3. <coughs> Yarn over in this next chain 3 keeping towards the DC side work 2 more DCs 1 and 2. So here we have created 7 DCs. A top 3 DCs. Then chain 3. In this chain 2 space below here, insert the hook, work 1 SC, chain 3 again. Yarn over in the next chain 3, keeping towards the DC side, work 2 DCs. <coughs> 1 and 2. Then we have 3 DCs below, work 1 DC atop each of them. 1, 2, and 3. And then yarn over in the next chain through space, keeping towards the DC side here, work two more DCs, one and two. <clears throat> so here we have again created these seven DCs. Then chain three. In this chain two space here, work one SC, chain three again. One, two and three. Keeping towards the DC side in this next chain three, work two DCs. One and two. Atop the next three DCs below, work one DC atop each of them. One, two, and three. Then yarn over, keeping toward the DC side in this next chain three, work two more DCs. One and two. Chain three in this chain two below, work one SC. Chain 3 again. Yarn over in the next chain 3, keeping towards the DC side, work 2 DCs, 1 and 2. Then we have 3 DCs ahead in the row below, work 1 DC atop each of them, 1, 2 and 3. <coughs> in the next chain 3, keeping towards the DC side, work 2 DCs, 1 and 2. 7 DCs created again, we have reached the end. To end this round, chain 3, skip the first SC and in this last chain 2 here, insert the hook in the top second chain work 1 last SC to end this row here. 5 row, rows get completed here for the pattern. Nextly, we will go for the row 6. So then, chain 5 here. To begin the row 6, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, turn the work yarn over keeping towards the dc side here in this chain three work two dcs <coughs> one and two then we have seven dcs ahead in the row below just work one dc atop each of the seven dcs below one two three four five six and seven eleven dc is being created atop seven dc's yarn over in this next chain three work two more dc's and now we'll be having our eleven dc's atop seven dc's <coughs> then chain two after creating eleven dc's chain two yarn over in the next chain three space keeping towards the dc side work two dc's one and one more two 
Then we have seven DCs ahead. Just work one DC atop each of them. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then yarn over, keeping towards the DC side in the next chain three. Work two more DCs towards the DC side in the next chain three. One and two. Then 11 DCs created. Then chain two, yarn over in the next chain three, keeping towards the DC side. Work two DCs. One and two. Yarn over. We have seven DCs ahead. Just work one DC atop each of the seven DCs in the row below. Then in this chain 3 also towards the DC side work 2 more DCs, 11 DC create again here, chain 2 in this next chain 3 towards the DC side work 2 DCs, 1 and 2, one more time, this is the last time, work 7 DCs atop 7 DCs, 1, 2, 3, four, five, <clears throat> six, and seven. In this chain one space here, work two DCs, one and two. And then, so we have 11 DCs created to end this round here. After 11 DCs, chain one, yarn over twice, yarn over twice, and in the sec second chain from the bottom, work one triple crochet here after the chain one yarn over twice and in the second chain from the bottom of the row two please work one triple crochet and don't work the dc as shown earlier that was the wrong thing so here we have our one two three four five and six rounds done for this pattern along with this foundation and these are the rounds from 1 to row 6 that are to be repeated over and over to create the desired length. So here we have completed our 6 rounds, 6 rows of the pattern got completed and after completion of the 6 rows we will again repeat the rows from 1 to 6 and so here I will work the row 1 here again with you. So the way we are going to create the row 1 here, the same way you will be creating it in all upcoming rounds when you are going for the row 1. So just be watchful of this row. This is the row 1 to be continued like this in all other upcoming repetitions. So then chain 3 turn the work and in this chain 1 space here as you can see, insert the hook and work 1 DC. So we have 2 DCs created again and then chain 3. 1, 2 and 3, skip 4 DCs, insert the hook into the 5th DC below and work 1 SC here. Chain 2, skip 1 DC below. In the next DC, work 1 SC, then chain 3, 1, 2 and 3, skip 4 DCs below and here we have chain 2 space ahead, work 3 DCs in this chain 2 space, 1, 2, and 3. This is the row 1 that will be followed in all upcoming repetitions of this 6 row repeat of the pattern. Then chain 3 after these 3 DCs chain 3 again. 1, 2 and 3 skip 4 DCs below insert the hook into the 5th DC work 1 SC. Chain 2 1 and 2 skip 1 DC below into the next DC work 1 SC chain 3 again. Skip the next 4 DCs and in this chain to sp space here work 3 DCs, 1, 2 and one more, 3. 
After the three DCs, chain three again. One, two, and three. Skip four DCs below into the fifth DC. Insert the hook and work one SC. Then chain two. One and two. Skip one DC below into the next DC. Work one SC. Then chain three again. Skip the four DCs below yarn over in this chain two space ahead. Work three DCs. One, two, and three. Please chain three again. After the three DCs, chain three. One, two, and three. Skip four DCs below. Insert the hook into the fifth DC below. Work one SC, then chain two. Skip one DC below in the next DC, work one SC, then chain three again. We have reached the end here and here in this, after the DCs in this chain space, work one DC and then yarn over in this top third chain, insert the hook and work the last DC to end the row one here. So again in this row 1 here at the edges we have 2 DCs and in between we are creating 3 DCs. So after this foundation row we have 7 rounds till yet completed 6 rows and then again row 1 is created together. So just keep repeating row 1 to row 6 over and over till you reach the desired length for the scarf or the muffler or the stole whatever you are creating. So having reached the length here having finished the desired length this is the last repeat of the six row pattern one two three four five six so this is the round six at the top of this end here and at the top of row six again we are going to create a row of dcs the way we have a row of dcs on the other end so then chain three and turn the work and yarn over in the next DC, work 1 DC. In the next DC, work 1 DC. And nextly, we will go for repeat of, for decrease of 2 stitches together. So, next 2 DCs will be decreasing together. So, work the DC halfway in the next stitch. Then yarn over insert into the next DC and work it halfway. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops. 2 stitches are decreased together. Yarn over again, we will go for the decrease of 2 stitches. Insert the hook in the next DC, work it halfway, then yarn over, insert the hook into the next DC, work it halfway, then yarn over, pull through all the loops, two DCs decrease together again. We'll go for the decrease two more times. Again, decrease the two stitches the same way. And then pull through all the loops, again two stitches decreased. One more time, we'll go for a decrease of the next two DCs. Work the DC halfway in the next stitch, then yarn over, work the DC halfway in the next stitch, then Pull through all the loops. So here, after three DCs, we went for decreases four times, and then in this last DC here, create one DC atop it. This is how it looks. Then here, yarn over in this chain two space, work one DC. That's it. Then into this next repeat here, work one DC atop the next DC. Yarn over in the next DC, work one DC. So we created one DC onto one DC twice, and then we'll go for the decreases four times. So then decrease the next two stitches like this. Once already done, three more decreases will go for. Then work the DC half in the next stitch, work the DC half in the next stitch, decrease them together. Second repeat, sec second decrease done. Again, decrease the two next stitches here. Like this. And then again, after the three decreases, we'll go for one more decrease for the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next DC, work it halfway. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next DC, work it halfway. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. Four decreases after the two DCs are done. And then yarn over, in the next DC, work one DC. Yarn over, in the next chain two space, work one DC. Simple. And then yarn over, in the next DC, so here we went for decreases four times, yarn over, just like this we will be working it ahead and the decrease stitch will be counted as one. So then in the next DC work one DC, in the next DC work one DC, again we will go for four decreases of next eight stitches. So then decrease next two stitches like this. 
once then again decrease the next two stitches this is the second decrease again decrease next two stitches this is the third decrease and one more time decrease the two stitches nextly like this four decreases done and then in the next last DC here work one DC top it and then yarn over in this chain to space here work one DC simple then again for the last repeat here work one DC atop the next DC then yarn over work one DC atop the next DC and here again after creating two DCs here work one DC atop the two DCs then after creating two DCs we'll again go for four decreases so then decrease two next stitches together like this one decrease done decrease the next two stitches together the second decrease done decrease the next two stitches together the third decrease done decrease the next two stitches together the fourth decrease is done and then in the next DC work one DC and in this top third chain also inside the hook work the last DC so here we have just simply bordered this end also with the row of DCs the same way we have this foundation row at the base of the other end just to make them look equal on both the sides next year I'll be changing the shade to gray for the border and the fringes so having worked this row of DCs next we're going to work a simple border around this edge of the length side of the scarf on both the sides so we will begin from here on one of the length side where we have already a yarn attached so here we have after the DC row six five four three two one rounds moving backwards six four five four and three two one rounds we are moving backwards from here so then here first we have this DC row so then chain one and uh, around this peripheral DC of the DC row work two SCs one and two simple so two SCs in this row and then we have the sixth row in the peripheral stretch of the sixth row work three SCs one two and three keep this number of SCs in mind and just like this we'll be proceeding all along our length in the sixth row we work three SCs in this fifth row in its peripheral stitch work two SCs then we have this fourth row in this fourth row just work one SC so in the sixth row we worked three SCs in the fifth row we worked two SCs in the fourth row we worked one SC and then we have three two and one rounds ahead in each of them we'll just work two SCs in the peripheral stitches one and two in this third row then this is the second row peripheral DC work two SCs here and then we have this first row peripheral DC just work two SC simple just note down this number or remember I'll do it one more time with you again we have sixth row in the sixth row in the peripheral DC work three SC's tightly like this one two and three and keep the number same all along the length in this fifth row in the peripheral stitch work two SC's and in this fourth row after this chain two here behind it work one SC in three two and one rows in the peripheral st stitches we just work two SC's each simple two SC in the third row two SC's around the peripheral stitch of the second row and two SC in this peripheral stitch of this first row just keep moving like this keeping the number of SC's same as I have explained till you reach the entire length on both the sides so here I have worked my SC's on both the length sides see how neat and clean it looks and nextly I'm going to join a gray shade in this very corner and work one more border along the length and the breadth sides so first we'll be working in the SC's on the length side in the very corner where I have ended this I'll just put the new shade and tie it with this loose end already present there if at all you're going for a shade change go ahead with me else you can carry on with the same shade that you're carrying on with so then this is the foundation row inside the hook pull up the loop 
chain 1 and here in this next SC work 1 SC in the next SC work 1 SC this is a very simple round we are just working SC's onto SC's work 1 SC into every SC below simple just keep creating for the length sides this is the pattern that we have to follow on the length sides we have SC's on the periphery so we'll be just working one SC atop every SC head. Just keep moving like this till you reach the other corner where we'll begin working the width portion. So here I have worked my entire length and reached this section, this corner, just reaching the corner. This is the second last SC that I'm going to work into. So in the second last SC, work one SC and here I've reached this very corner SC on the length side. So in this very corner SC on the length side, work three SCs in the same stitch. One, two more SCs into the same stitch. Two and one more, three. Just remember this, this thing that in the corner SC, we always work three SCs. Simple. And then we have reached this width side where we have our DC rows. We'll work a border on this side as well. One more simple border. So yarn over, we'll be working HDCs here. Yarn over in the first available space here. Insert the hook and work one half double crochet like this. Then again yarn over between the next two stitches, work one HDC. Yarn over between the next two stitches, work one HDC. Between the next two stitches, work one HDC. Between the next two stitches, work one HDC. Simple. Just keep working one HDC into every available space ahead. Keep moving like this till you reach the corner here. I have worked all the sides with the gray shade and nextly we are going to prepare these rings for the fringes on both the sides on the width side. We should have a total of eight such rings prepared beforehand before we, before we begin working the fringes. So let's see how to create these rings around this index finger simply and loosely wrap the yarn around around uh, 10 or 12 times like this keep the number same for all the in every ring formation that's it so if you're working 12 repeats 12 rounds reps just go for 12 for every ring that you're going to make then insert the hook through this loop pull up a loop chain one and we are going to work around this ring so then insert the hook work one SC around the ring again work the second SC around the ring we are just going to work a total of 18 SC's all the way around just keep counting till you have a total of 18 SC's done Having completed the 18 SCs around this looped ring, insert the hook in this first chain beneath the two loops and work a slip stitch like this. Put a knot, secure the thread, cut that extra thread. Secure it with a knot. Again, thread this loose end. This is how the ring looks and uh, secure this loose end. With the help of a needle in this very ring formed like this after having secured a certain length cut that extra thread out the string is ready this is how it looks on both the sides just like this prepare eight, eight such rings for both the sides we are going to put four on one side of the breadth Actually, I have taken a few stitch markers and we'll put it on the width side or the breadth side to mark the fringes 
to help in, on the way on working the fringes so here in this chain to space where we have the DC atop it we have here we have one SC put a marker in there again skip the next DCs in this chain two atop it there is one SC put a marker there skip the next DCs in the next chain two space atop it there is one SC and in the corner also if you wish you can put a marker else the corner is uh, very much evident we don't need that marker to help us, us there so then here we have we have a uh, yarn already joined begin chaining chain 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 pull the loop like this put it down take that ring that you already prepared and on any of the sides beneath the two strands of one SC join it just like this insert into the loop then through the SC and bring it out on this side and work one slip stitch like this and then chain 14 backwards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 and where we have put our next marker this is how we are going to keep it here in this marker stitch insert the hook in this SC and just simply work one slip stitch so this one fringe is joined here like this and this is how we are going to work all the next three upcoming fringes so again from here work 14 chains pull the loop keep it down take that ring insert through this pulled up loop then through this ring beneath the sc like this draw up a loop work one slip stitch like this and then chain 14 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 and here again we have another marker that's been put equidistant on the breadth side work a slip stitch in that stitch take out the marker chain 14 again the same way will work the next two fringes as well just follow as shown then through this ring also keep the yarn behind and then pull up the loop work a slip stitch chain 14 backwards simple then in the next marker stitch insert the hook work one slip stitch like this take out the marker in the last fringe to go for the corner one chain 14 again If you wish to add more fringes then uh, you can put markers after every five stitches and that will work so you'll be having eight fringes on one breadth side then just join it with this ring keeping that yarn behind and work a slip stitch like this then chain 14 backwards And then in this very corner stitch instead the hook work one slip stitch join it here put a knot cut the thread secure the knot well our fringes are done for this side of the breadth secure the loose end into the same color 
the fringes on this red side is done just like this work the fringes on the other end as well on the red side so here this beautiful scarf with this net pattern and fringes gets ready see how elegant and how enchanting it looks i hope you enjoyed the tutorial many thanks to you all thanks for stopping by have fun learning have fun crocheting see you next time